What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's race day. We're at Harold's Dragway. Got the crew back here. Everybody's here hanging out and helping us at the racetrack. Always a good time. This is my first time ever coming to this track. It's only like 50 miles away from where Brian's shop is. It's down outside of Clinton, outside of Harold's, North Carolina. Always wanted to come, but it seemed like every time there was an event happening here, I had a scheduling conflict. But tonight, we're finally able to get here. And they got an awesome event happening. It's free entry, 28 by 10s, run what you brung, $1,000 purse. This is what the racing is about, is coming out here, low purse, no big dollar stuff, coming out here, making some passes. And if you get into money, cool. If you don't get into money, it was $10 to get in and $10 to race. You're out 20 bucks. This is what racing is to me coming to the track having fun check it out guys don't forget to go to turbojohnracing.com to grab yourself some merchandise comment like and subscribe all right so they're fueling it up now got everybody out here this is gonna be fun so we did end up putting the weight back in the trunk we put 100 pounds back here the other thing we did we went to the shop before we got out here and we changed the bar angles and so one of the things that we were doing i had a lot of anti-squat so we took that anti-squat out we moved the lower bar on the rear end up a couple holes so we should have about 110 120 percent anti-squat now versus 170 ish and so i think that's going to be a little better trying to hit it with a little bit more power uh we got those qa1 shocks we got a, of course uh those mod series shocks are just bad to the bone so we're going to do a little bit of work on that to go ahead and get it so that the shocks are what we think is going to be close we're going to have them a little bit looser not quite so tight since we don't have quite as much anti-squat so hopefully it's going to work out we'll see we'll be it's gonna be fun regardless. I think we'll be have 13, 14, might, have, might even have 16 cars out here. So this is gonna be a blast. We gotta pull the tune up, figure out what we're gonna try. I was thinking about going to try to hit it real hard. Last race we were at, the No Prep Kings uh, in the finals got run out of my life. I mean, the first 300 foot. So we gotta figure out how to make it faster the first 300 foot. And I think that's gonna be leaving harder with more boost and more importantly, ramping the boost in, but the suspension's gotta be able to take it. I mean, and before it was just separating too hard, I think. So that's what we're gonna try. We're gonna ride up there and take a look at the track, see what the track looks like. All right guys, so here we go. So uh, going back to everything I own is junk, golf cart wouldn't start. And so we owned out the switch here. And so all this thing is, hard. this little switch is just a ground. And so it's grounded all the time. It's like the switch is on all the time. So we're gonna take that switch out real fast. I don't have another one, so we're just gonna have to basically just keep the wires separated until you wanna cut it off and then you touch those two wires together. And then it cuts off. Everything I want is junk. Agreed? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. yep. And look, the hood's up on the, the truck over there too because the, the, the lights are not working on the trailer. Yay. Go ahead, John. Hey, hey. Right. hey we trade balls to somebody. Anybody wants to trade? No trades. No trades. 
Oh, no, I know. <laughs> we didn't throw each other. God, thank God. What's your name, sweetie? Who's driving? Kenny. Kenny. Yeah. L3. Hallelujah. John. Turbo John. Turbo John. <laughs> R3. All right, Joe. Mm. L4. Joe, what you got? Black Mustang. Black Mustang. Okay. Good luck, sir. Be careful. Alright guys, we just pushed up here. We're the third pair out. I don't know where everybody is. We got like 14 cars, but they are not up here yet. So hopefully they'll be up here shortly because I mean, we're ready to race. So the big fireball, it lost crank signal. And I don't know if y'all remember, it did the same thing on the dyno. And when it did it on the dyno, that's why I burned my transmission up. But luckily I was not on the dyno this time. So I didn't, it wasn't that bad. So I can see it in the data log, data log six it did it lost the crank signal and so what we had a shim on the actual on the sensor so we took the shim out got the spacing a little closer because this is that 58-2 wheel 
So it's one of those things, it's, uh, it needs to be pretty close. They want 20 to 30 thousandths. When I checked it, it had 51 thousandths. So maybe that's all it is, but I'm gonna be ordering a sensor up this week. This is Joe, this is who we gotta race. Good luck, sir, be careful. Yep, um, I got left lane, he's got right lane. So here we go. That was uh, interesting. I whacked the throttle uh, like twice on that thing. It just didn't come out, come around. It was uh, skating out there. It had massive amounts of wheel speed. I had it turn up pretty good, trying to make it so that it would go faster. It was two and a half more pounds of boost at 1.8 seconds into the run. So, and that's faster than my personal best that I went at Darlington No Prep Kings the other week. So I was trying to go faster and the car was not happy there. It's still, if you look at the slow, if you look at the video and slow it down, it separates initially and then the car kind of falls. And so we did put a little bit more air pressure in at that time. It was on 12 pounds. Uh, 60 foot was reasonable. Uh, it was just past the 60 foot where we got a problem. Brian, did you win? Red light. Brian, red, what? Oh, oh I no. Jerk on it. So, <laughs> Brian, that's the first red light you had in a long time. I was waiting, waiting, and then all of a sudden my thumb started twitching and, <laughs> I was like, and it was red. I was like, y'all. Oh, that sucks. So, he made it out here too, but uh, both of us first round I'm ducks. No, I'm done. I'm going to go to Rico tomorrow. Are y'all going to go to Rico tomorrow? How about that? We're going to go if it's, if it's uh, the weather is okay. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But it was fun. Uh, track, this, I love the track, I love the layout. I mean, the layout's awesome. We're way down here. The pits are fat past the finish line here. So, I mean, it works out. There's plenty of room out here. Lots of space, lots of room. So, uh, track seems to be pretty good. I mean, it's well lit. I'm liking it. This is my first time coming down here, but it will not be my last. Uh, we're just gonna have to get a, a good tune up. You know how it is. I mean, I was trying to go fast, trying to get ready for No Prep Kings. You know, and it's one of those things. No Prep Kings where we've been racing is not really no prep it comes around really good and actually gets pretty sticky with all the big tire cars the car is pushing a little bit left when i moved the lower control arm up we did have to play with the bar length and so the car is pushing left so that means i need to take on the driver's side here and lengthen that bar just a tad to give it a little bit of rear steer so uh rico's coming up tomorrow so we'll see what happens. Hopefully the weather will be fine tomorrow and we'll be good to go. All right, guys, comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see y'all soon. Later.